In this video, we'll take a look at how to account for uh, the opportunity cost of foregone opportunities in our cash flow uh, calculation. So in this simple example, let's say you have a five year cash flow. Um, initially, you have a thousand dollars that you need to spend. Maybe you know you want to purchase a machine that costs about a thousand dollars. And uh, once you purchase a machine, you can enjoy a cash flow of 300 in the first year and so on and um, you can see that uh, you know the net present value for this would actually be um, positive um, you could uh, calculate the net present value in PV using uh, this interest rate here and these cash flows and you can see that there's a positive $387 in PV and an internal rate of return that's also positive, 23% uh, internal rate of return. Now, what if it really turns out that the machine that you're purchasing costs $1,000, but in addition to that machine, you also need an existing machine that you already have uh, that needs to be used for generating these cash flows, that's machine two. But if you did not use, if you did not invest in this, uh, in this enterprise, if you did not purchase machine one, then you could actually sell the machine to for $400 in the marketplace. So by purchasing machine one, you are foregoing the chance to sell machine two for $400. So one way to look at this is your real cash flow in the beginning period is the cost of machine one and the foregone cost of the foregone profit of uh, selling machine two that you could not sell. So instead of just saying minus F1, you also do minus F2. And your initial cash flow is $1,400. So when you add back the cost of machine, the opportunity cost of machine two um, to the project, now the I, uh, NPV and the IRR don't look that attractive. Um, let's compute the NPV. And you can see that it's actually negative. So it's slightly negative now, and uh, the IRR is likewise less than the 10% IRR. That uh, the IRR is uh, less than the 10% uh, cutoff that we require for this project. So the and IRR is actually less than what we expect of this project. So suddenly the project uh, does not look that attractive because uh, you could actually be selling the machine and enjoying $400, but here you're foregoing that. So that's a small example of how you would take into account the opportunity cost of foregone opportunities. Um, you would basically take those cash flows and incorporate them into your project cash flow to arrive at the correct decision.